Hey, I'm Hannah, and this is Is It Bad, where we answer your most burning cookware questions. Today, is it bad to use nonstick skillets? Nonstick skillets are incredibly popular. In fact, 70% of all skillets sold in the US are nonstick. They're also really useful. They release food easily and are a cinch to clean. But they can do those things thanks to a coating on their surface, a coating that gives some people pause. Is it safe? And what is it anyways? Traditional nonstick coatings are made from a fluoropolymer called polytetrafluoroethylene, more commonly known as PTFE, or by the most prominent brand name, Teflon. It's a plastic that's sprayed on the metal pan base like paint or spread on with rollers. Three coats are typically applied, a primer, a mid coat, and a top coat. And there are several oven curing stages to secure the coating to the pan. In the last decade, there's been a major safety change in the nonstick industry. Perfluorooctanoic acid, commonly known as PFOA, was a chemical used to help the coating spray evenly on the pans during processing. It wasn't harmful to the home cook, but it was to the people and environments near the production facilities where the coatings were applied. The Environmental Protection Agency asked manufacturers to remove PFOA from their cookware by 2015. These days, if you look, almost every single piece of nonstick cookware will say PFOA free right on the box. So that's the manufacturing side, but what about home cooks? There's a concern that nonstick pans are toxic in a general sort of sense. And it's true, they can be dangerous. If a nonstick pan gets hot enough for long enough, it will emit toxic fumes. You've heard of the canary in the coal mine, right? Miners used to keep caged birds with them down in the mine shaft as an early warning system because birds are much more susceptible to fumes than humans. A lot of nonstick pans actually come with warnings not to cook with them around birds because of the possibility of off-gassing. The temperature often cited as a threshold for danger for humans is 600 degrees Fahrenheit. So we wondered, is it possible that a nonstick pan gets up to 600 degrees during normal use? To find out, we made a high heat stir fry and tracked the temperature of the surface of the nonstick skillet with an infrared thermometer gun. While the skillet did hit 600 degrees, it never stayed that hot for longer than a second or so. And remember, time is as important a factor as heat. And if we moved the food around, the temperature fell back down below that safety threshold. But when we heated an empty skillet, temperatures easily rose above 600 degrees and stayed there. So is it bad to use nonstick? The answer is we honestly don't know yet. More studies need to be conducted on the off-gassing issue. Never heat nonstick skillets empty and don't get them too hot. Butter begins to smoke at 350 degrees, and most vegetable oils will start to smoke between 400 and 450 degrees all well below the 600 degree threshold. So if you make sure to always have a little fat in your pan, you can get a good read on how hot it is. Lastly, if the idea of a chemical nonstick coating is just a no-go for you, cast iron and carbon steel are both naturally nonstick, so they're good alternatives. Thanks for watching. Ask your own is it bad questions in the comments. Check out the links to our favorite nonstick, cast iron, and carbon steel skillets in the video description, and hit that subscribe button below.